Yeah, that's right. I got every single badge in Roblox's The Hunt. I actually went insane. Here's all the checked off doors and me wearing the crown to prove it. What is that? I have done nothing but hunt for the past two and a half days. To start things off, this event was not great. I would give it a solid 4 out of 10. There are very good games that pull off the event well and very bad games that I will be about to shame violently. Let's start off with the bad. Most of the game's quests or tasks were just awful. I could literally go on about this for like two hours. Any game that's a quote simulator or quote tycoon should not have been in this event with very few exceptions. Most of their quests were just playing the game, so you aren't even hunting anything. The developers don't do anything creative and just tell you to have this much strength or reach this area to complete that or complete this much of the tycoon. Other games would even try to cover this stuff up with the idea that you needed to collect a certain amount of items. Surprise there, you get these drops or items by just playing the game normally and it takes up even more time on top of that. That has gotta be the stupidest thing I've ever seen. I'm not hunting anything at all. You couldn't add in a cool event or something unique. Instead, I'm forced to click my mouse for 40 minutes and do nothing that makes me feel like I'm earning anything of value. All of those games should not have been in the hunt at all. But there's one game I want to humiliate more than all of the others. The Snowboard Obby game. Try and guess what the challenge was to get the badge for this game. They could have added a unique themed obby or, you know, an axle challenge. But no. They just ask you to play for 15 minutes. Are you serious? You're telling me these developers got the email from Roblox that said, hey, we want your game to be in the hunt for some reason. And the developers read this email and don't realize the amazing chance they've just been given for the massive waves of players on their game. So they just decide to make it boring and have you sit there for 15 minutes, which is exactly what I did. I didn't even play the game. Oh, also, let me call out Obby, but you're a bike real quick. You didn't even code the event properly. Not only do the quests for the event take forever and are tedious, you don't even need to do the first two. If you just beat World 4, you're done done. Overall, any game that's challenged was literally just playing the game, which is mostly the simulators, were trash. They were time consuming and had no effort. The only simulators that are exceptions are like the tower defense simulator, and that's not even a simulator, it's just a tower defense game with the title simulator slapped across the normal title to get more people to play it. Speaking of tower defense games in the hunt, I like the idea and it's cool and all, but we don't need four of them. Just give me one and then that's all. I did not need to do the normal tower defense, the mouse tower defense, and the toilet tower defense. I still can't believe I actually sat and played that game. In the future, just give us one. It's repetitive and it's a chore in the first place. We aren't done with the slander yet, but don't worry, I have amazing amounts of praise later in the video, so do stick around to hear that. We've essentially cleared like 50% of the games in this event with the whole quote, play the game as the task. However, some games did create something different, but still failed to make it good. The floor's lava was just not good. You have to wait 8 rounds for the chance for the obby to even appear, and then there's just this specific part of the obby that really confuses me. Also, the time for the lava to rise counts down during the cutscene of the obby, so you have to have insane skills to react quickly. I guarantee you nobody did this first try, and if you fail, have fun waiting 8 whole rounds again. I'm also going to take a second to call out Treasure Hunt Simulator, because that one is insane to grind for. You need 3 chests, and the first two are relatively okay, but the third one has like 60,000 health, and is super low underground. And considering everyone else is looking for it as well, you can't just steal it from someone else. This literally forces you to grind an insane amount to get that third chest. Fruit Battlegrounds was also annoying, because you aren't even presented with a guide on what to do. You just have to have a two kill streak. Simple, right? Not really. When every other player actually grinds this game in spawn camps, you can't do anything. Good luck on that one. Another call out to all the open world games that just took the route of just wanting a certain amount of things found. While yes, I understand there's not really much else to do event wise for this kind of game, there were like 10 of these games that did this. Next time I would be happy with just 2 or 3. Or none. All of these crappy events are just not fun. Overall, they feel like chores and not super entertaining. There's little to no effort, poor design, and a lot of cash grabs. I don't need the bike obby offering infinite flight to me every every two deaths. Enough slander, let's praise the games that outperformed the event. These games actually tried and made something good with a whole bunch of extra stuff. There are, in my opinion, three ways to make your game great for this event. You either A, take your game concept and make something even better out of it like Steep Steps did. This was hard, but you can't complain since that's pretty much the point of the game. They took the concept of their game, made a level, decorated it, and even incorporated a small egg hunt into it, and the animations were great. 
This is a job well done for this kind of game. The next route, Route B, would be to take your game's core idea and make it into something unexpected. A perfect example for this is Arsenal. This is one of the really good games in this event. They take their gunplay from a fast-paced gun game shooter and make it into a stealthy slash action-y mission, complete with voice acting and an entire map. Now this is how you do a hunt event correctly. The last route, C, is to take your game and make something completely different and unexpected. Another perfect example, please donate. You first ask yourself when joining this event, what could a Robux donating game even do for this kind of thing? Well, obviously it did better than most of the games participating, and that's saying something. Not only was there a splendid voice actor and cutscenes, you actually played two whole mini games inside of Please Donate, first as a simple puzzle matching game, and then a digging game for the gem. This game is for donating Robux, by the way. Great job to this game. Let's keep spreading some praise. The strongest Battlegrounds is a bit more grindy, but has a creative twist. You fight NPCs, which are out as classic Roblox characters using classic weapons spawning every three to five minutes if you kill 11 of them you get the badge and if you were quick enough you got arguably the best ugc item of any of the games and sadly i was not quick enough also this animation for the badge is one of my favorites this event also got pushed out later than it should have because apparently the developer was up for like two days straight making the event and then fell asleep the door was actually removed for the game in the lobby for the hunt hello there project smash included an egg that spawned in every 10 minutes and only one person can get it nerve-wracking event i actually got very lucky and it spawned on my feet on the first try i can see why some people would dislike this one though i personally like events where it gets me on my toes doors might have been one of the best in the event they took their game mechanic and not only made a brand new floor for the event but they also introduced a major new mechanic which added insane difficulty to the game the time mechanic makes you always on edge and constantly under pressure to keep moving and find more time switches. This one was really difficult and took me about an hour, but overall it was very well made. Events that are difficult but still fun to do are my favorite, and while yes, I want to get all the badges quick, I like a good challenge too. SCP Roleplay had a whole story mission. You go on the other side of this mirror into this terrifying reality to steal a relic. Another great example of putting actual effort into your event. And keep in mind, the snowboard obby just decided to do a 15 minute timer, and this game did all of this. 3008 was good, but not super great. It introduced the idea of objectives, and this did create some challenge, but the objectives were slightly bland. Nonetheless, I would still say this is a solid event contender. RB Battles also did great, mixing the idea of playing the game normally and then also completing a wave-based minigame praise of this game too. Also, the animations for the cutscene were amazing. Piggy also did great, mixing the standard gameplay into a puzzle, as well as creating new maps for the event, and it was super nice. I would say well done there. Catalog Avatar Creator took the route of making something insanely different from the actual game and made a whole game mode featuring the classic factions from old Roblox. This one was hard but super fun because it reminded me of old games I used to play like Field of Battle. Nothing beats the classic bow and arrow shooting noise. Look, overall I would summarize this event as being a messy, mixed bag. Most games do a terrible and annoying job and make you feel like you're hunting and keeping you engaged with the creativity. It makes me sad knowing that there are other games that would do anything for a chance like this. On the other hand, some games do amazing and exceed expectations. These games deserve heaps of praise and recognition for their efforts. Do I regret getting all 100 badges on this event? Well, that depends on how this video does. It was quite the experience, and I don't know if I'd put myself through that, all that again. But that's all for the video. Let me know your thoughts on the event in the comments, I'm really curious. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. It would make my whole day, and I'm not even kidding. Thanks for watching. Peace.